Jamie, happy belated birthday. Thank Recently you so celebrated much. your 52nd birthday. I don't yeah, believe it though. 26 times two. <laughs> I love so it. Don't, you come out with them all them big, uh, edit that, that, that five to 26 <laughs> times two. Yeah, What'd you do to celebrate? Oh my God. Best, <laughs> red, uh, <laughs> Can we, you say it on yeah, camera? We, yeah, we read scriptures and, you know, <laughs> and read the Bible. All week. Oh, good to hear. Uh, no, you know, it was fun with family. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Now, you recently received a SAG nomination for your portrayal mm -hmm. of, of Walter McMillan in this mm -hmm. film. How does that feel, receiving recognition for your work? I tell you, this is the most important film I've ever been a part of, and I thank Michael B. Jordan for it, and I know he will, he, he, I hope he doesn't tire of this, but the phone call that I got from him and living in this, in this, in Hollywood, uh, when someone really stands by you and gives you an opportunity to have your artistic integrity um, play out and be intact, it means everything. So I, I, I literally, and, and the personal, the personal things that we've talked about, just on a personal level, which I don't, you know, I don't share that, but just to, it, 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 it means a lot personally for him. To, to ask me and then for like something that he was brilliant in front of and behind the camera, uh, putting this together means everything. Michael, what, what made you want to tackle this project? I mean, it's a very serious, very heavy film, mm -hmm. um, an important topic. What made you want to do this? I think, first of all, let us do um, I feel like it's, I was a little key embarrassed because I didn't know who Brian Stevenson was about four or five years ago when I first got introduced to his uh, memoir. And uh, I got a chance to meet him, talk with him, watch his TED talk, heard him speak. And I was like, why, 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 why isn't he in front of every like, magazine or like, why is every news publication putting this man out there like I, I felt like that me discovering him I wanted other people to have that same type of feeling of like discovering who Brian Stevenson was and it was one of the reasons why I really wanted to make sure his story was told told the right way so being a part of like crafting the script making sure we're telling the right story uh, it took time because we didn't want to make a movie that felt uh, self-aware you know we wanted it to we wanted to be a mirror to the audience. We wanted people to go home and talk about it, start conversations. We wanted people to think differently. Um, we didn't want to tell anybody how to feel. So that, it took some time, but I think we got it. Was it nerve wracking portraying Brian Stevenson while he was executive producing the film and you know, after you've met him? It was like, uh, there's a little bit more pressure on mm -hmm. you because Nobody's he's perfect, presence. but he's, he's, he's damn close to perfect. You know what I'm saying? The guy is incredible. Yeah. So, you know, just, just wanted to do him justice and, and, and make him proud, honestly, and get it right. So that was one of the biggest pressures I think I've had. But once he told me I was doing a good job and, you know, he gave me all the tools that I needed to, to, to get at the essence of who he was, who he is, um, you know, it was all about just delivering after that. You know, Kim Kardashian and other celebrities have also done a lot of work with regard to criminal justice reform. How important is it for celebrities to use the platform that you have to advance in this particular arena? I think it's important. I think, I think uh, you know, when the internet speaks, people listen, you know, and I feel like we're in such an internet era, you know, uh, and, and generation through social media and, you know, collectively getting a message out to the masses, I think is really important. So I think for people who do have, a, you know, a huge platform, uh, you know, getting together behind one, um, one message, one narrative, you know, one cause, no matter what it may be, you know, I think is uh, extremely powerful and it can get a lot done. So hopefully this movie kind of, you know, you know, sets off that and we can, we can get some stuff changed. Jamie, you had this riveting, very convincing portrayal of Walter McMillan. How, how did you transform into him? I mean, what did you do to prepare? Well, aesthetically, we look alike. We have the, as you see at the end of the movie, we have the sort of the diamond-shaped head, and I know a few people who, who have that or were part of the same tribe, and then the, even with the hairstyle. So that, that helps. And then it's a matter of talking to Brian Stevenson, finding out what Walter was like since he wasn't with us and finding out these beautiful jewels and a, a, a little bit of tape and things are, uh, around to sort of reference. But then it was getting in the room with Michael B. Jordan and Destin, our director, and then uh, auditioning in the sense of what's the right thing to do. I remember doing one thing where uh, it was suggested to do this heavy, heavy accent and, you know, 
to have my brother go, mm, you know, ah, let's too much. Let, yeah, let let's let's land somewhere in between that, so we're able to understand where it was. So it, that's where you you know you get the the right people telling you the right things helps, and then it's a matter of of, of both of us just asking the spirit of our characters mm -hmm. to come and sit with us, you know, and they, and they did. They would sit on the set with us. You could feel it. And you could feel it every day that we went on that set. That 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 the story we were saying was was important, and the people or the spirit of the people was sitting sitting with us there, nudging us right, left, or which way to go. Now, outside of this movie, there's another role that people have been talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. You're possible being the fox on The Masked Singer. Can yeah. You you just, I mean, just, there's a fox left. follow me on my Instagram, <laughs> and I got the information for you. <laughs> we can wait yeah. and watch there. Yeah, we can watch there, yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's some things happening over here. Okay. Now, Michael, you've also had some other projects. You were a video stud, I guess we could say, in Snow Leopard's new music video. How was that? She's awesome. It was a great time. Yeah. It was awesome. We just happened to be in Berlin. I was shooting um, a movie uh, out there, just wrapped up. I actually just came back yesterday. She was out there shooting a music video and made it happen. I'm a big fan. Oh, she's great awesome. music. Yeah, what was it like yeah. working with her? Great. She's a uh, true artist. She's a true artist. It was, uh, it was a good time. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.